Hi, how's it going? Welcome back. So we're just, uh, it's a rainy day, we're leaving Hiranui Hut and uh, we're heading towards hopefully a couple of waterfalls and uh, what Dave's fond of calling a mystery hut. It's probably a mystery to me why I'm out here in this weather but uh, nevertheless, let's carry on and uh, check out some waterfalls and their mystery hut. No doubt Dave will be behind me any moment. So in case you're wondering, that pond that Dave just went through, that wasn't here yesterday when we came in. So that's the result of last night's rain. So it uh, be interesting to see what the stream crossings are like a bit further down, but uh, yeah, bring your gummies if you're coming this way after the rain. Rain's still falling, deep and dark in the forest here, no sign of let up, uh, it's, I don't know it's probably mid morning getting close to lunchtime now and it looks like this is here for the day. It's quite funny when I see, when we set out I said to Dave no way it's going to rain for two days straight, yeah looks like it's going to rain for two days straight anyway let's carry on I better catch up with Dave. Check it out, rain's coming down, which is pretty ugly, but you know you're on the right track when you see a sign that actually says, well, track. So I'm guessing we're on the right track. And um, that's the Hiranui stream, although we haven't seen that yet. But from the sound of it, looks like we're gonna do a crossing in a minute. But uh, yep, always good to know you're on the right track. Clearly I'm not as agile as outdoorsman Dave. Oh, you are taller. <laughs> so we found a clearing of sorts. Looks like there could have been, I don't know, some logging gear here or something. It's been cleared and there's a sleepers laying down. So I'm assuming we're coming onto a tramway, um, but it's quite interesting. Plenty of places to camp actually. This is on uh, still on the north-south track, so there's plenty of places to camp. It's looking quite good. Let's carry on, shall we? Check it out, another sign. Manga put a uh, broken off basically, so uh, we're heading down to a stream, which is um, looking more like a raging rapid, but we'll soon find out. Uh, so we'll have a look and see what that looks like. I think, uh, I don't think there's too many more after this one, but uh, yeah, we'll have a look at this one. And... <laughs> so we're at the intersection of the north-south track and the Leyland O'Brien track 
and the sign actually says Hiranui Hut one hour. Well we've been walking through this rain and mud and slush and streams um, for just over two hours. So I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's a um, marathon runner cross country sprinter's time but it certainly certainly isn't an old boy like me. So yeah it says one hour. I took two hours. <sighs> I don't know. And in case you're wondering, it's still raining. It's still overcast, it's still wet. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, we're intending on camping out tonight. I mean, the weather's not too bad. It's just a little bit damp. We do have some options available to us. So we could head up this way and go to Te Whare Oki Oki, or we could even go to Mangamoka. I've never come to this point with this new boy, so what are you thinking, Peter? No, I'm pretty happy. I mean, it is raining, but it's only wet. It's not actually too bad. It's not too cold. And provided we can find a decent place to camp, I think we're going to be fine, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look, so I think we've come to a decision, and this is the first one that we've really had to make <laughs> together. And it's great to see that I've won. I'm, I'm, <laughs> so, we'll catch you soon. So we're on the Leyland O'Brien tramway and we're making good time walking along. Weather's not changed much but it's, uh, it's easy walking along the tramway. Although it's interesting to have a look at some of the streams. I mean streams that uh, would be a trickle or almost non-existent. Um, uh, pretty raging torrents at the moment so there's no problems with water. The only thing we're thinking about is uh, hopefully we're going to find a camping spot that we can pitch the tents that isn't underwater, but uh, we'll see what happens when we get down there. Check this tramway out behind me. Look at the steepness of the cutting. Very impressive stuff. So we're heading down here now. The water's, water's flowing quite well. Rain still hasn't stopped. But uh, yeah, very impressive cutting. Come on, let's go. So as we're walking along these tramways, there's always bits of the old logging stuff. So you see all the odd bogey wheel and uh, the odd bit of boilerplate and things like that. And you realise that uh, that's why there's no big trees around. Because the logging took them all out a hundred years ago. And man, you've got to be impressed. I mean, these guys did it all by hand, cutting these tracks and dragging them out. So yeah, very impressive stuff. So you can see the sign behind us, there it is. So you can see the sign behind us, there it is. It's basically saying that uh, we're on the Leyland O'Brien track, but um, man, in this weather, those timings are just not accurate at all. We're taking a lot longer. But the track is a bit slippery, so we have to be careful. And uh, of course it's still raining, obviously. So yeah, look at that. Just brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. 
and every stream we come to you can probably hear them they're all just raging torrents there's been uh, probably 24 hours of rain last night it really rained heavy so uh, every stream is uh, up and flowing thankfully we haven't had any problems but uh, boy you want to take care in the Kaimais after some rain that's for sure Well this hasn't gone entirely to plan, so we bush bashed up that hill, we went around the bluff, we got stuck on the top of the bluff, bush bashed back down, we've got a stream below us that neither Dave or I are brave enough to try and cross. It's getting a bit late too when we've just decided it's probably time to bail, so we're going to um, head out and hope that we can catch a lift back to where we've stashed the car. We're here! Not quite safe, but we're here. Woohoo! Awesome little track. Yeah. So here we are, we're at the car park. We're waiting for a lift now. If you want to have a look at the first half of this adventure, and uh, that's uh, outdoorsman Dave and I in Hurunui Hut, have a look at that video up there. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe. Cheerio. Hey, we don't get cell phone service. We might be sleeping in the dunny tonight, <laughs> but anyway, let's hope we get cell phone service.